Catholic monks defied the odds to qualify for the quarterfinals of the Christie Sevens, upsetting most of the fancied sides in their group at the Christie Sevens at the RFUA grounds in Nairobi. NTV's Hilary Anakea was at the games and now gives us the day's highlights. <laughs> The Catholic monks, recently relegated from the Kenya Cup, staged arguably the biggest upset on the first day of the Christie Sevens, securing a coveted ticket to the quarterfinals tomorrow. The monks outplayed Kisumu RFC and Nakuru RFC 19-7 and 21-12 respectively before holding Kenya Cup champions Cabras to a 12-12 draw. So if you want to play with the big boys, of course, of course you have to show up as well. So what we did, we came here, we showed up and uh, we were up to the task. So despite of them big t being big teams, of course there's that mentality that uh, will deep down, as you said, uh, uh, being relegated from the uh, Kenya Cup. We said we need to like bring ourselves mentally up and uh, actually go with this so as uh, this should be a... Uh, like a foundation for us to go into the champion season and again be promoted back to Kenya Cup. The monks are looking to stage more upsets on the final day. The most unfortunate thing is that uh, the higher you go, the harder it becomes. Uh, we want to approach uh, tomorrow, God willing, a game at a time, just a game at a time and see what goes. So it's going to be a tough game, but uh, we're just going to rectify our things. Uh, defensively and on attack wise. If we just keep our ball tomorrow, deny them position, I'm sure we're going to come out on top. As action culminates here on the opening day of the Christie Sevens, it remains to be seen whether KCB will retain the Christie Sevens title or maybe, just maybe, a new champion will be crowned. Hilary Nekea at the RFUEA grounds in Nairobi.